Hi everyone, I'm just checking in with you guys, hoping everyone's having a nice day. Um, that Affordable Care Act reminds me of a story by George Orwell. It's called How the Poor Die, and I'm going to leave the link below. Because um, essentially in, in his essay, he was in a hospital in 1929 in Paris, and the patients pretty much took care of the patients, and the doctors just seemed to experiment on them. Um, and it almost seems relevant to this day of what's going to happen. I'm not sure about that, but um, I know just from personal experience, having to deal with doctors since um, October, um, September and October, uh, things aren't going the way they should be. Um, I have a really good doctor. He's holistic and he does Western medicine. And I needed some surgery on my leg. It's it's not an emergency surgery. It just I had fell off a roof once, and no one would. Do, I had a compound fracture. I broke my back in both legs, but the compound fracture set from November until April. It didn't get infected because I had a good doctor. Um, however, Doctors Without Borders did the surgery. Now it needs a secondary surgery. It just hurts when I walk, and. Um, the surgeon and my doctor both agree I need the surgery. It's not invasive. However, now my insurance won't cover it. So it's how the poor die. Um, and I'm poor, just like a lot of people out there. And well, I still, I'm, I'm still making it. It just hurts, and I don't do nothing for the pain. Um, I just thought everyone should read this essay because this may be what we're coming down to. So we need to start learning to help one another. It's all the way, also the holiday seasons. Um, we don't participate in it, but I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it because you're with your loved ones and so forth. I the one there's a couple of things I don't like about it. Um, I don't like people cutting down trees, wasteful trees, and decorating them just to throw them out. That's just waste, and and we are we have just drained the resources from this earth. We need to stop. Also. The consumerism this time of year. The corporations are making a killing. If you just sit around and spend time with your family and maybe make gifts or something, I think that would be really cool. We just don't participate in it. It's it's just a choice that's been around me for a very, very long time. Um, I have had Christmas before, and um, I did it for my kids for a little while. We didn't do Santa Claus because um, I can't lie to my kids. Um, I'm not going to lie to my kids. If you start out with one lie, you'll eventually keep lying to your kids the way I saw it. Now, I know to some parents it's very exciting. It seems to be more exciting for the parents than the kids. However, I chose a different route. So my kids, eh, it wasn't so cool for them, I'm sure, but at least they knew there was no Tooth Fairy, there was no Easter Bunny, there's no Santa Claus, because you got to re live in real reality. I mean... Filling your kids full of fantasies and stuff only to disappoint them later, in my opinion, wasn't good. Although I have watched some kids wake up to Santa Claus and it, it was pretty cool watching them. But I just didn't want to do that to my children. My youngest son wanted to go to church, so did my next to the youngest. And um, one still goes, I, I don't think he does anymore. My youngest son, I told him it's your decision whether you want to participate in religion he knew how I felt as a Native American he got kicked out um, he didn't mean to he was really hurt but he questioned their authority and their control and he was only like 11 or 12 and he realized that whoa at that age this isn't something he wants to deal with so um, you know for the holidays we we won't be doing anything maybe we'll be on YouTube um, but maybe not, who knows, um, we're rearranging our house right now, so, you know, you get into things and do things and find things in boxes when you're redoing your house, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to leave the link below to How the Poor Die, hope everyone has a good day, um, I'm going to finish rearranging my house and I got to go do some things and then I'll be back later, I do love you all and I hope you all have a safe happy holiday season and for those of you who feel unwanted and 
and and alone at this season, don't be. Because there's some of us that don't even celebrate it. And if you're feeling that way, just get on YouTube or something. And maybe a lot of us will get on there who don't celebrate it. And we'll cheer each other up. I, I really, it's another day. To me, I would celebrate the 21st, the winter solstice, over um, Christmas any day. Because that's a day of a feast. Because that's the longest day. And I, I think it should be celebrated. Not a pagan, heathen, wiccan... I'm a Native American. Peace, love, truth. Hey, guys, I love you all. And, oh, also remember, I heard Resist the Tyranny, Matt from Resist the Tyranny say this. If you do go and indulge and do all that consumerism, don't put those boxes outside that shows what you bought because that's just a good idea for thieves to come in and raid your house. Anyway, love you all. Hope you're, if you got a tree, you bought a real tree that you can plant outside. As a matter of fact, that place I live, let me show you. Um, hold on. Um, this is cool because this is, we lease this property. And lo and behold, these people. That was their Christmas tree. I, I don't think they celebrated either. Um, I think this is the way they did it. So. Just letting you guys know, you can plant your own trees. Um, it's probably a better way whoops, to do it. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Have a good one, and uh, talk to you soon.